Hey everybody, neck journey. Now, we're gonna need to explore this idea of creep. Creep is a problem. Creep is a distortion or deformation. It's not exactly warping because uh, creep is specifically a deformation that's caused by a long-term applied load. And I can't think of a more interesting long-term applied load than a set of strings. <laughs> anyway, let's say we have this kind of guitar here, which is um, well known to everybody. So-called bolt-on neck guitar. This is a Fernandez copy of a Telecaster, but it's made from the same material that all the um, original and contemporary necks are made of. And that is, this is a piece of rock maple or hard maple or sugar maple. This is a, a tree that grows pretty quickly, that has a pretty high density. It's uh, about 45 pounds per cubic foot. And it is generally considered to be hard and really strong. There's variables of strong, right? Ballerinas are strong. Sumo wrestlers are strong. Everybody's got a different kind of strong. One of the things that maple is good at is bending. Uh, maple loves to bend. And maple is chosen for that property, for example, to make banjo rims in most cases. It's a nice hard material, sounds good, bends very well. Violin ribs, the sides of violins and cellos, etc., are made of maple and bends very well. In a guitar neck, bending isn't something that we really want to see. And although the stress induced by the strings for an electric guitar is normally less than for an acoustic because the size of the strings are smaller, still, it's a pretty good long-term applied load. And what happens is when the neck shape transitions into whatever other shape it is, like here's a regular heel transition with a flat surface here. And this old Epiphone, Gibson built Epiphone guitar. Well, we'll talk about that later. You can see there's the same kind of transition here from the um, regular neck shape, you know, beefy, you know, thick neck shape to a thicker heel area. And then finally, on this old buddy, we have the transition between this big V-shaped neck and the heel, okay? A whole different structure. So what happens when we have this transition of um, this volume and this size to this volume and this size? What happens is this area becomes what an engineer would call a stress riser. So this is a place where stresses are concentrated and are higher than they are here or here. So this is a place where the neck can bend in a way that we prefer that it would not, all right? And so sometimes the neck will bend and when you put a straight edge on the neck, it'll look like this part of the neck has, has moved up like that. When we set a straight edge on a neck, oftentimes we see that it touches this fret, but it won't touch, say, the 12th fret. And it kind of looks like this part of the neck has moved up. But that isn't what's happened. What's happened is this part of the neck has stayed exactly where it always was. And this part of the neck has hinged at this stress riser due to creep. So remember, creep is a deformation in response to a long-term applied load. And in this case, our maple, which is hard, but also eager to bend, it's eager to bend because it can elongate in a graceful way. So these fibers get a little bit longer right here and they let the neck kind of hinge forward like that in response to the strings. 
what that does is it, it, it means that it looks like there's a kink in the neck somewhere around here. It makes the guitar harder to play and it's a problem. And so this is one of the fundamental problems of necks and I know that for sure because I made a living for about 15 years in the 70s and 80s repairing this problem <laughs> in uh, hundreds if not thousands of guitars with necks made out of maple and mahogany, the two big, two big choices for neck materials. Now, we will delve into this maple and mahogany combination in a very deep way and we're going to look at these two wonderful materials and examine their strong points and their bad parts. So this is the first one I'm going to talk about is the creep and the creep happens really with any material but it's exacerbated in maple because maple is easy to bend uh, all other things considered and as I said the the fibers can elongate in a graceful way and they do right here at this point of stress in response to the long-term applied load and the result is creep and this is a problem for guitar necks it's a problem that we're going to try and solve so that's the creep step in our neck journey <laughs>